Well, yes, it is important to have diversity in the arts because um, actually 45% of Australia identifies as Anglo-Australian. So that's a minority, really, in a way. So absolutely, it's vital for institutions to reflect um, society. Yeah, this is the trouble with institutions. Like, um, if they are serving the hegemonic state, then what room is there for artists to uh, have freedom of expression and actually talk about what's going on in their lives and the stories that they need to tell about um, their reality as artists and also, you know, reflecting what's the current social issue issues in Australia. Artists should be um, judged on their artistic merit and the relevance of the discussions and the power of the communication present in their artworks, not just numbers that fulfil um, government or institution or organisation's targets. I think there is a disparity um, present in the support structures, um, but that varies on uh, what kind of support we're talking about. Obviously, an organisation like NAVA um, is accessible uh, and provides basic services to all artists um, and is useful to all artists. If we're talking about the institution and that being a support structure for artists, then certainly there is a disparity um, and not always in the representation of artists uh, as this varies according to the institution, um, but often within the institution itself. So who the institution is employing often affects what, how effectively the institution is engaging with artists that ha are from culturally diverse backgrounds or gender groups. Well, artists who don't have a voice in the institution are therefore, it's problematic because perhaps they're seen as uh, not as valuable um, or perhaps their works are not seen as socially relevant or as socially relevant, um, which then affects the wider community and the mainstream, um, obviously, um, because it's therefore not a true representation of the current social and political landscape in Australia. Quotas are important, perhaps, for organisations um, so that they ensure resources and funding. However, um, I don't think it's fair for organisations to um, simply engage with artists um, based on those measures. I don't think, yeah, I think that that affects the, the wider community in the end. So it seems to me that organisations that are actively uh, addressing these uh, disparities and making space for cultural diversity and gender groups are often um, community organisations um, and grassroots um, artist-run organisations um, and they're addressing that through their cultural and artistic programming. It's evident all over Australia. <clears throat> but unfortunately, um, these you know, social interfaces are under-resourced and not, not as supported as I think they should be. Artists can change our idea of self and nation by making works and telling stories that are true um, stories about themselves or issues that they feel compelled to make works about um, that don't perpetuate the, the continual sort of mythologising of the grand narrative of Australia.